Hello friends, welcome to N Universe Double Two. In this video, we will discuss what is pressure of a liquid or units of pressure. So, firstly, when a fluid is contained in a vessel, it exerts force at all points on the side and bottom and top of the container. So, pressure is defined as normal force. exerted by a fluid per unit area that is normal force so we speak of pressure only when we deal with a gas or liquid and the counterpart of pressure in solid is normal stress since pressure is defined as force per unit area and it is denoted by small p and force upon area that is force is denoted by capital f and area by capital a so it becomes equal to f upon a and here f is expressed in newton that is capital n a expressed in square meter that is meter square that is area and pressure has the unit of newton per square meter so that is newton per meter square which is called pascal that means 1 pascal equal to 1 newton per meter square and the pressure unit pascal is too small for most pressures encountered in practice therefore its multiples kilo pascal that is 1 kilo pascal equal to 10 raised to power 3 pascal Equal to ten raised to power three newton per meter square because pascal equal to newton per meter square, and mega pascal that is one mega pascal equal to ten raised to power six pascal that is equal to ten raised to power six newton per meter square. These are commonly used kilo pascal and mega pascal, and there are three other pressure units commonly used in practice, especially in Europe. These are bar. standard atmosphere and kilogram force per square centimeter so here 1 bar equal to 10 raised to power 5 pascal and that is also equal to 0.1 mega pascal and it can be written as that is equal to 100 kilo pascal and one atmosphere that is equal to 1 lakh 1325 pascal it may be written as 101.325 kilo pascal in terms of bar it can be written as one atmosphere that is equal to 1.01325 bar and in terms of kgf per centimeter square so 1 kgf per centimeter square that is equal to 9.807 newton per centimeter square and that is equal to 9.807 into 10 raised to power 4 newton per meter square and that is equal to new an 9.807 into 10 raised to power 4 pascal newton per meter square that is equal to pascal and it can be written as 0.9807 bar or 0.9679 atmosphere so here the pressure units bar atmosphere and kgf per centimeter square all are, are almost equivalent to each other and in 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 the english system the pressure unit is pound force per square inch that is lbf per square inch lb that is stand for pound f is the force or psi that is pound force per square inch and here one atmosphere that is equal to 14.696 psi and here the pressure units kgf per centimeter square and pound force per inch square are also denoted by kg per centimeter square and pound per inch square respectively and they are commonly used in the tire gauges 
एंड इट कैन बी सोन दैट वन के जी एफ पर सेंटीमीटर स्केयर दैट इज इक्वल टू फोर्टीन पॉइंट टू टू थ्री पी एस आई सो हेयर प्रेसर इज आल्सो फॉर सोलिड्स एज सिनोनिमस टू द नॉर्मल स्ट्रेस विच इज फोर्स एक्टिंग प्रपेंडिकुलर टू द सरफेस पर यूनिट एरिया एंड हेयर देर आर मैनी फिजिकल सिचुएशन वेयर प्रेसर इज मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट वेरिएबल If you are peeling an apple, then pressure is the key variable. If the knife is sharp, then area of contact is small, and you can peel with less force exerted on knife. If you get an injection, then pressure is the most important variable in getting the needle through your skin. So it is better to have a sharp needle than a dull one. since the small area of contact implies that less force is required to push the needle through the skin so now this is all about we have discussed discussed about pressure now here are here is another term that is pressure head so here we try to understand what is pressure head so a fluid always needs a container to store it so consider a vessel containing some liquid and we know that liquid will exert pressure on all sides bottom and top of the container also so here we have a container which can uh, which contain the liquid in it and uh, this is the as well as uh, now we consider a bottomless cylinder this is the bottomless cylinder and the level of the liquid in the container that is uh, h so so this is the bottomless uh, cylinder and this is the level of the liquid in the bottomless cylinder and this is the free surface of water and here we can see the fluid that is uh, static condition the fluid at rest and here we can see this is the pressure profile at this point p equal to 0 and when we we are moving from top to bottom as the depth going on increasing then the pressure that is going on increases so we can say at the bottom it is maximum at the bottom it is maximum because the pressure of a fluid on a surface will always act normal to the surface and the pressure at any point in a liquid depends on height of free surface above that point and it is sometime convenient to express a liquid pressure by height of the free surface which would cause pressure so this we try to understand this is the velocity pressure profile and it is increasing from top to bottom so now here we can see if small w that is equal to rho g that is the specific weight or weight density of the liquid and h this is the height of liquid in the cylinder and a that is the cross sectional area of the cylinder now the weight of liquid contain in the cylinder so that is equal to mg mass of liquid into acceleration due to gravity that is mg and m equal to that is rho v because density equal to mass upon volume and then m equal to rho v so substitute here that it becomes rho v g and here v is the volume and this is the product of area into height that is a into h so we can write ah instead of v that is rho a h g so this is the weight of liquid contained in the cylinder now the intensity of pressure or simply pressure at the base of cylinder that is given by weight of fluid in the cylinder upon cross sectional area of the cylinder base so that is rho a h g upon a and finally p equal to rho g h so here rho g that is small w specific 
weight or weight density and that is constant for a given liquid because W equal to rho g, rho is the density of water 1000 kg per meter cube, g is 9.81 that is also constant. So here P is directly proportional to H and thus it is proved that intensity of pressure at any point in a liquid is directly proportional to the depth of point measured from free surface of liquid as shown in figure B as we did as we seen you know so from equation this is equation 1 from equation 1 we get h equal to p upon rho g and here this is the pressure head h equal to p upon rho g equal to p upon small w and here p is called intensity of static pressure and h is called pressure head of the liquid and p is expressed in newton per meter square and small w is expressed in newton per meter cube so now the unit of pressure head that is h equal to newton per meter square upon newton per meter cube that is equal to meter so friends in this video we have learnt what is a pressure unit of pressure and pressure head and how intensity of pressure is increasing when we are moving at the bottom from free surface of the liquid if you like this video, share with your friends and students. In our next video, we will discuss about laws of liquid pressure and hydrostatic equation. Subscribe for more videos on more topics and universe double two. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.